Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. First of all, I like my haircut. That's what you call low maintenance. Feels pretty good. Anyways, what's on my mind this week? You know, I got I was asked a question, and, and it's a pretty interesting question. The question is this, John, what's it like to have cerebral palsy? Well, I tried to explain that in, in Someone Like Me, my book, uh, but I'll explain it here. For me, cerebral palsy, it's, imagine having to put thought behind every movement. Every time you wanted to take a step, for example, you have to tell yourself, pick up your foot and set it down. Pick up your foot and set it down. If I want to move my hands, I literally have to tell myself to move my hands. There's a constant running dialogue in my mind and when it comes to the movement of my body. You know, I feel like there's a disconnect between my brain, cerebral, and palsy, the movement of my muscles. So there's, you know, there's a short circuit in there. I explain it like, like this. It's like having a, a dial-up modem for, for my muscles while everybody else is running on high-speed internet. It's frustrating as heck. It, it really is sometimes. Uh, it's challenging. It's frustrating. It's tiring. I get, I get tired uh, at the end of the day. My muscles, I, I suffer a lot of leg cramps in, in my ankles for some reason. Um, you know, I have balance issues and uh, posture issues. And that's what, that's what cerebral palsy is. You know, it, it's, it's, you, it's different for everybody. You know, you, you know I, I have a relatively mild case of cerebral palsy, and I consider myself very fortunate. You know, but every case of CP is unique to the individual. So if you were to ask somebody else with cerebral palsy, they, they might have a, a totally different answer to the question of what cerebral palsy is like. But that's, that's my explanation of what CP is. It's that constant running dialogue. It's, it's me having to provide... Uh, movement for my body where everybody else uh, just doesn't have have that dialogue in their mind as far as telling themselves to pick up, pick up their foot or you know to stand up straight you know I'm always I've always had that I always thought it was uh, I always thought everybody else did too but uh, no so uh, everything's good I hope you guys are good I uh, love, love, again, watching all the video blogs that are going on. You guys are doing a great job. Really proud of you. I think it's so important to discuss these things and have a dialogue. And I look forward to one day soon, you know, maybe sitting down and, and talking to you all face to face. I think that would be wonderful. I, I've spoken in the past of having a cerebral palsy expo, you know, just focusing on cerebral palsy. It's a big enough issue. Uh, that I think uh, we could bring a lot of people together and just sit down and talk and share common experiences. But, uh, anyways, just got back from yoga and a little tired, but uh, feeling good. Feeling good. And uh, again, thanks for all the support. Hey, read someone like me. Let me know what you guys think. Post a review on Amazon for me. I, I would appreciate that. Uh, download it on a Kindle or your Nook and also know that you can also download it on iTunes. It's, it's a great audio book. Jim Eskimen, who's, who's made it to the finals of America's Got Talent, by the way, uh, as an impressionist. He's a, he's a wonderful, I think he's a top impressionist in this country, celebrity impressionist. Check him out on uh, America's Got Talent. Jim, Jim does a great job, did a great job on, on my audio book. So check it out. And... Uh, Again, appreciate all the support. So uh, let's do it again next week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.